அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நாம் இன்றைக்கி பார்க்க போகிற டாபிக் என்னென்னா ஐன்ஸ்டீன்ஸ் ஏ அண்ட் பி கோவிஷியண்ட் இந்த லேசர்ன்ற யூனிட்லேருந்து வரும் ஐன்ஸ்டீன் ஏ அண்ட் பி கோவிஷியண்ட் இப்போது ஒரு ஆட்டம் நம்ம கன்சிடர் பண்ணுறோம் அந்த ஆட்டம் என்ன பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு டிஃப்ரெண்ட் எனர்ஜி ஸ்டேட்டில் இருக்கும் சரிங்களா தென் வென் த லைட் ரேடியேஷன் இஸ் இன்சிடென்ட் ஆன் திஸ் ஆட்டம்ஸ் த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ராசஸ் வந்து அங்கே டேக்ஸ் ப்ளேஸ் ஆகும் ஒரு ஆட்டம் நம்ம எக்ஸ்டர்னல் எனர்ஜி கொடுக்கும் போது த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ராசஸ் நடக்கும் த ஃபஸ்ட்டு ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் ஸ்டிமுலேட்டட் அப்சார்ப்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஒன் இஸ் ஸ்டிமுலேட்டட் அப்சார்ப்ஷன் வாட் இஸ் ஸ்டிமுலேட்டட் அப்சார்ப்ஷன்ஸ் த ஆட்டம்ஸ் இன் த லோயர் அண்ட் ஸ்டேட் இ ஒன் அப்சார்வ் த ரேடியேஷன் it goes to excited state or higher energy state this process is called as stimulated absorption or induced absorption where or atom ground state la iruke e1 rathu energy level of ground state e2 energy level of higher energy state e1 la irukra or atom nama external energy kuduthone id absorb panikitte it goes to excited state id stimulated absorption appdi solluvom the rate of stimulated absorption is directly proportional to number of atom in energy state and density of the energy that is number of at- that is the rate of absorption is directly proportional to n1 into q yeah, what is n1 n1 means number of atoms present in lower energy state n2 number of atom present in higher energy state ipo the rate of absorption is directly proportional to n1 into q q under the energy density of incident photon in the energy density of the incident photon oda energy into number of atom present in lower energy state that is rate, rate of absorption is directly proportional to n into q therefore you can write the rate of absorption is equal to b 1 n1 into q this is equation number 1 b 1 n1 q here b 1 is proportionality constant proportionality constant this is stimulated absorption if first stimulated absorption and parunga the atoms in lower energy state it absorbed external energy it goes to higher energy state it goes to higher energy state this is stimulated absorptions that is the rate of stimulated absorption is directly proportional to number of atom present in lower energy state into energy density of incident photon next the second process second process is spontaneous emission spontaneous emission what is spontaneous emission already you know that the energy from lower energy state to higher energy state poichi so, ipo the atoms from excited state to lower energy state the atom from excited state to lower energy state without no external energy without no external energy it emit the energy which is equal to absorbed energy already in absorbent energy mela poi irukku this is stimulated absorption and the energy atom undu romba nera mela nikkade seriya thirumba keela varumbodhu adoda energy vandu emit pannum evlo energy absorb pannicho and the energy emit pannum this is spontaneous emission spontaneous means no uh, without external energy absorbed by the atoms iron state la ulla atom endha energy absorb pannama ange endu mele irundhu downward direction la varudhu during the process la it emit some energy that energy is equal to absorbed energy h nu indra or energy absorb pannichi stimulated absorption la inga adhe energy emit pannudhu here the rate of absorptions that is rate of spontaneous emission is directly proportional to n2 what is n2 n2 is number of 
atom present in excited state then the rate of spontaneous emission is equal to a 21 n2 a 21 n2 this is equation number 2 here also the a 21 is proportional d constant proportional d constant proportionality constant simulated emission what is stimulated emission and we know that the high energy state atoms that is excited state atoms comes to ground state with the help of external energy with the help of external energy or photon at the high energy state atom would trigger pandro the atoms comes to ground state during the process it emit double time of the energy during the process it emit double time of the energy the rate of stimulated emission is directly proportional to n2 into q what is n2 the number of available energy state in the electrons and the q is incident photon that is density of incident photon then the rate of stimulated emission is equal to b 21 n2 into q b 21 the energy transition from higher energy state to lower energy state that's why we are indicating b 21 n2 into q this is equation number 3 already know that there are three process one is stimulated absorption second one spontaneous emission and third one is stimulated emissions these are all two type of transitions occurs one is stimulated absorption is upward transitions ground state to higher energy state then second one spontaneous emission and stimulated emission is downward transitions so there are two transitions occurs one is upward transition another one is downward transitions here also the b21 is proportionality constant then equating these equations to do transition process one is upward transition is equal to downward transition upward transition is equal to downward transitions that is upward transition the first equations that is rate of absorption is equal to rate of spontaneous emission plus rate of stimulated emission this is equation number 4 already know that the rate of absorption b12 n1 q is equal to rate of spontaneous emission a21 n2 rate of stimulated emission plus b21 n2 q this is equation number 5 then you can simplify b 12 n1 q minus b 21 n2 q is equal to a 21 n2 then the common term q taking outside b 12 n1 minus b 21 n2 is equal to a 21 n2 then q is equal to a 21 n2 divided by b 
n1 minus b21 n2 this is equation number 6 now dividing by numerator and denominator by b21 n2 we can write q is equal to a21 n2 by b21 n2 whole divided by b12 n1 minus divided by b21 n2 minus b21 n2 divided by b21 n2 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 yes on negro is we can to negro remaining on the rearranging the equation then q is equal to a to 1 divided by b to 1 into 1 divided by b 1 to n 1 divided by b 2 1 n 2 minus 1 minus 1 on substituting this value of n 1 by n 2 is equal to e power h nu by k b t this is Boltzmann constant this is Boltzmann distribution law Boltzmann distribution law now you can substitute this value of n1 by n2 then q is equal to a21 by b21 then 1 divided by b12 by b21 into e power h nu by kbt minus 1 instead of value of n1 by n2 we are substituting e power h nu by kbt this is Boltzmann distribution equations this is equation number this one is uh, 7 this one is 8 equation number 8 Already we know that according to Planck's radiation law, the energy distribution is given by that is Q is equal to 8 pi H nu Q by C Q 1 divided by E power H nu by K B T minus 1. This is equation number 1 9. This equation 9 represent Planck's radiation law. Long's radiation law. Now comparing equation eight and nine. Comparing equation eight and nine. Equation eight and nine. And you know that the energy level of excited state that is B. 1 2 by b 2 1 is equal to 1 so b 1 2 equal to b 2 1 b 2 1 b 1 2 equal to 1 means this one is 1 we so can write a 2 1 by b 2 1 is equal to 8 by h nq by cq this equation number 10 the equation 10 represent einstein a and b coefficients einstein a and b coefficients thank you